start about Ninja Gaiden 2, actually. Um, number 23 is Galaga. Oh, my aunt is a pro at Galaga. Uh, my folks, they play Galaga I think all I, the time. I think I've played it, but I don't remember what it was, what, what it played like. It's fun. It's a classic 82 game. It's, it's constantly bucketed with Miss Pac-Man whenever there's an arcade machine of it. Yeah. Okay. It, it's, um, it's one of those all times classics that everyone's played at some point. All right. All right. Number 22 is the Angry Video Game Nerd XD. I'm sorry. I meant Contra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> NES 1988. Yes, I the game seen it. Uh, never finally played. men. Truly, My. this is a game it's for men. men. <laughs> I can't remember what the download game is called, but I think it's coming out soon. That uh, Contra has... Rebirth, it's already out. No, 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 it's a game that's in the Contra style, but it's not Contra. Oh, it's not Contra. Oh, okay. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a super hard difficulty that basically mimics Contra. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one hit, deaths, one life, no continues, and it's the code name for the difficulty is FTS. Also known as Fuck This Shit. <laughs> 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 all right all right 21 is super metroid yes Fuck. yes greatness <laughs> greatness <laughs> i'm getting an orgasm just thinking about it best ending <laughs> of a metroid game <laughs> uh, never really played the 2d one so i oh, can't you so. were missing out so much. You i, I out. said i never had a snaz it's not my fault this list contains so much nintendo you have a wii don't you it's on the virtual yes. console for get it on the bucks. virtual console it's eight bucks it's one thing to get into a game when it just comes out it's another thing to get into a game what 20 years later 10 years later no 15 it's years later it's still a great game i play it all the time it's awesome now, well, you have the benefit of having it when it came out. I didn't. I did. That's not the point. It's still a great game. Okay. Number 20, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Higher. Yeah. Freaking higher. <laughs> Nerd rage. I'm going to sound like bird squawking eventually. Nerd rage. Deserves to be in the top five. I'm sorry, uh, this game changed the way games were even made. Right down to the freaking file code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. It definitely deserves the number one spot a little more than what actually got the number one spot, but we'll talk about that when we get there. The Forest Temple music will continue to haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh. Uh, wait, <laughs> uh, we're going further down this list. Number one is not too predictable, is it? I'll just leave. Yeah, it. Well, you'll you'll get to it when we see it. Okay. Okay. After Number after getting past the game that should have been much higher than where it is. <laughs> Number nineteen is Metal Gear Solid PS One nineteen ninety eight. Yay! Yeah, definitely the best of the bunch. Most if I had memorable. A if <laughs> most memorable boss fight ever. Which if one? I had a complaint about the game, I would say that once you have the cardboard box, it very nearly breaks the stealth gameplay. Great Fox. Great <laughs> 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 Fox. Gosh, metal here. <laughs> here. And here comes the part where Johnny and I will probably disagree about the placement. Uh, number 18 is Resident Evil 4. Uh, I think it's fair where it is. I think it's fair on the list. I don't think it des it deserves to be number 18 because it's not I, that good. No. All right. Now I'm going to fight you. Resident Evil, I don't know. I got I to gotta tell you. Resident Evil 4 to me is one of the best games I ever played. If I were to count all the times I've beaten the game front and back, special weapons, no weapons, knife only runs, it's well over to the 75 area. Hey, if Yahtzee can give a glowing review of it. It must be good. I I would no. I wouldn't I don't know I don't know what it's I don't know what it's competing against in the list, but to me at Resident Evil 4 is the, clearly one of the best games like, ever. A game I, that this, has its inventory system actually be practical. 
Yeah. Yes, that was one of the good points. But um, uh, and at this point in time, uh, way, way after the fact, I actually do think that in gameplay terms, Resident Evil Four is better than Five. But um, because you don't have to wear a suit of armor inside of your suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I just don't think Resident Evil Four is awesome enough to be sandwiched between Metal Gear Solid and let's segue into Seventeen here, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger. Damn you to hell, Magus. <laughs> Chrono, uh, I was introduced to Chrono Trigger with the PlayStation version that was bundled with Final Fantasy IV. Hi, Akira Toriyama's inspired anime cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, uh, hello, I, character that looks disturbingly like Trunks with red spiky hair and a katana. Super Saiyan, I wonder why. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with a sword. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Great yeah, game. Yeah. PlayStation 1 version was it, was, it was okay. But then after I played the Super Nintendo version, I never went back. But then I got the DS port, which was even better. And it still had all the anime cutscenes and shit. Why does everyone always sing Robo's theme? <laughs> because it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, my favorite line in that game, actually, if you talk to Magus in the, uh, if you recruit Magus, spoiler alert, you can recruit him. Um, if you, uh, talk to Magus in the end of time while he's not in your party and Chrono is after you've, yeah. uh, yeah, got Chrono back, uh, that's the best non-spoiler way I can say it is if you, uh, you cut out, you're cutting out, you're cutting out, you're cutting out, you're cutting out, repeat. Sorry. Uh, if you talk to Magus at the end of time after getting Chrono back, uh, yeah. assuming you've recruited Magus and he's in there to begin with, uh, at least in the SNES Ted Woolsey translation, he will tell Chrono, quite bluntly, you got whacked because you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Magus! <laughs> All right. Apart from being funny, I'm wondering how that line wound up in the version that was supposed to be the kitty version, where all the beers were placed by cider and lemonade. And but, now it's yeah. apple juice. <laughs> and now it's, now it's water. And now it's yeah. napa. <laughs> <laughs> vitamin C for censorship. Actually, they do. There is a vitamin C um, spiel at one of the bars, and it, it it did make me think of censorship. It's almost funny. I wonder if I wonder if Woolsey was thinking of that when he wrote that. Ah, never mind. Sixteen, Mike Tyson's punch out. Mike Tyson's punch out. Yes. Mr. Sandman is just a poor man's Mike Tyson. Well, no, yeah. you're thinking of Mr. Dream. Okay, Mr. Dream, Mr. Sandman, they're essentially the same. I assume the dark skinned fellow standing next to Mario in the screenshot is Mike Tyson, yes? I would suppose. Does he have a hole Big. in his teeth? Yeah, I think it's, I can it's see that. Well, it's Mike it's Tyson. Mike Tyson. The only reason, though, I love Mr. Sandman is because he's from Philadelphia. So we have at least a contender. Yeah, in our... totally not trying to rip off Rocky. But he's black. <laughs> Apparently Mike Tyson just TKO'd the player. <laughs> well, he does have he has dynamite punches. Kid one dynamite. Hit. Yeah, one hit All KOs. Right. Number 15, I will actually allow to be on this list simply because of what it did for RPGs. I will not I will not agree with it being this high up. Final Fantasy VII, wildly overrated once again. And of course, the screenshot is that overused Sephiroth walking into the flame shot, which for some reason has worse hair than the CG later in the game, but I'll save that uh, for the seven commentary if and when we do one. Over-ray-ted. I still love the game. I, I know it's. I, I, I do think it's overrated as well, but I do I also, love playing the game. Well, part of me hates it just because of the stupid tweeny weeaboos who only like it for the anime look and have never actually played the game. Yeah, yeah but that's not the game's fault. That's uh, not the game's I know, fault. I know, I know. And let's move Rufus. into number 14. Yeah, which do you think, and that's a good segue, which do you think is more overrated? Number 15, Final Fantasy VII, or number 14, Call of Duty for Modern Warfare? Oh, seven is definitely more over. Well, mm, yeah. yeah. I stopped myself. Okay. You stopped yourself. You were about to say something stupid, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
is uh, I would uh, I'm, put Martin I Warfare on the top 100 for sure, considering it basically tightened FPSs to an absolute perfection.